this video I'll show you how to make a report in Google Analytics which reports by day of the week. If your site has visits which vary a lot during the course of the week, like lots of e-commerce sites do, you'll find it hugely useful to be able to compare Tuesdays with Tuesdays and Saturdays with Saturdays. OK, the first thing to do is to head up to the Custom Reports tab, give it a click, and then when that screen loads you're going to want to click on the new Custom Report. We're going to call this one something like Daily Report and then start adding metrics. The, the first thing I'd always have uh, is the visits because you need to be able to uh, see the number of uh, visits this uh, data applies to in every instance. Um, I'm then going to have the bounce rate because I'm always interested in seeing that. And since this is a, I work on e-commerce sites, it's in my normal habit to have things like uh, the e-commerce conversion rate and the number of transactions. So we'll go with the transactions and the conversion rate and uh, we might as well have revenue I think. <laughs> Let's have that as well. And uh, we'll call this um, something, you know, the, the daily report or by day. Might come back and change that and do it as a uh, date or something like that. Now then, uh, this is the key part. This is the, the magic spot. There it is. Stick in the date. And that's, you know, that is the secret of this report. What you put in the uh, the drill down, the next dimension down, I, I don't know, that you, that's pretty much up to you. Um, might be a good idea to go with something like source or medium, or you might want to use that as a secondary dimension once you've actually got the report. But I'll go with source and medium for now. It's quite interesting to think that you could actually filter this. If you have a look in here, um, you could actually consider filtering by things like, um, if you could filter it by the day of the week, so you could have an I don't like Monday's report or Sunday's report. There's, there's a lot you could do with that kind of thing, but for now I'll just leave it unfiltered. Uh, that's my first metric group, that's the e-commerce one. And now the next thing to do is to start adding some more metrics for all the other goals. So I'm going to start with the first group and uh, let's just stick them in. So I'd always have visits to make sure, you know, as I said, I want to be able to judge that whatever I'm looking at applies to a lot of visits. So it's always my habit to have it as the first column. And then I'm going to start adding my goal conversion rates. Um, there we go. Goal one conversion rate. Then we'll do goal two conversion rate. I'm going to pause in a second and uh, come back when I've done all this. Right, we've done one lot and I'm going to add another metric group. This is where I'm going to have the second group of goals. Goals, uh, what are we going to go? Six to, um, six to ten. Uh, there we go. Keep adding them in again. And as I said, here we are. I've jumped right, just cut a bit out there. So you can see the full lot we've got there, the whole lot. Which took quite a while, I assure you. So the next thing we're going to do is to add another tab, because this is where I think it might be get really interesting. What we're going to look at here is the day of the week. And the key point here is the dimension is going to be different. Uh, we're going to go start with the day of the week, Monday, Sunday through to uh, Saturday. And then the really cool thing here is if you drill down into it, the secondary dimension is the date. So then I'm going to click on the Sundays and see all the different Sundays for my particular period. Now I'm going to... Uh, Start adding all the other metrics as before, and then come back when I've done it. So there you are. We've got a full set there. But I'm afraid I discovered something rather scary on the on the last metric group, which is, as you can see here, I seem to have hit some kind of maximum, and I wasn't able to add the full set. I'm not sure if that's a hard-coded limit or whether it was just a temporary glitch that I was encountering when I was recording this uh, video. Um, I don't think many of us would actually want to have a full set of 20 goals in one report, but I was just doing it to, to make the point. Once you've got your report set up, obviously the thing you want to do is scroll down to the bottom 
and choose the profiles that you're going to have it available in. Uh, I'm not going to drop that menu down because it's quite a long list and it'll just add to the confusion, but choose which profiles you want this uh, report to be visible in and then just hit save and basically that's it, you're ready to roll. Why not download a copy of this report from the video? Just log into Google Analytics and then use the link on the screen to import a copy of the one that I made here.